welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Adullah with another new video as we have started full building detailing tutorial series okay and as a civil engineer you know that how important it is and uh, recently I have completed a real project and I have draw a detailing okay I mean I have created detailing for my that uh, plan and in our previous lecture I have just shown you that how we will create detailing for our columns okay here column long section and also here the schedule of our column and also how we'll uh, draw uh, a beam detailing here also have created that beam detailing and schedule right uh, sorry a uh, foundation detailing and schedule and in our previous lecture I've just shown you that how we'll draw our here here I have just shown you that how we'll here uh, I have just shown you that how we'll draw our beam beam detailing and uh, in our previous lecture as per our design uh, I mean from our ETFs as per our design I have just draw that beam and I have told you in this lecture I will just complete another part of it so if you new here I am just requesting you please watch our previous lecture that full playlist is given in description and also like our video share our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel okay now it's okay now now uh, we have to take a line here okay we have to take a line here first of all for top and for bottom okay for top and for bottom for both places we have to take a line now actually uh, for a river line right so before that we'll take our line for clear cover with respect to our river so if we see in our AutoCAD I have just selected that data okay I have selected that data from here okay just see here I have just selected that uh, data and this is our design requirement and see here all our all beam and column have passed and from here I'll just take our reinforcement detailing I mean reinforcement value so it's showing that this is the top and this is for bottom so I, I have just considered that column and uh, as uh, we provide in field uh, in millimeter the uh, I mean bar dimension in millimeter and if you think that it is your bar dimension or your uh, spacing or everything that is in feet then you can also give them in uh, FPS unit but I will use I'll just change I'll click here and change it I will use metric SI unit okay so it's done now first of all just if you see in top okay if you see in top here now the question is which bar will use I mean uh, what is hotel by the dimension and which number of bar will use for our beam design so if we if we come here and before that see here what is the maximum requirement this is the area okay this is the area I mean a uh, millimeter square bar, re bar requirement in millimeter square so just see here here it's showing 99 okay here uh, first of all this this point showing us 300 and 4 in the uh, millimeter square bar here and it's showing 99 millimeter square here 99 millimeter square and also this point showing us 169 uh, 160 and here 99 and here 310 so as a civil engineer you know that must we have to provide four bar minimum four bar in our beam this is the condition for our beam detailing so first of all we'll select if we provide two bar in top then by which bar and uh, for bottom it's showing us in bottom uh, we record less bar the maximum here maximum record minute 280 here 280 okay so if we go here and we'll see if we use 10 mm bar then we have to use more than 4 bar in top okay we will not select that now if we use number 4 bar or 13 mm and this is uh, known in our market as 12 mm so if we provide that then we need also we need uh, more than uh, 1 1 to 9 mm okay and if we 
come sorry if we come here uh, here uh, if we just we can provide 40 uh, I mean uh, 12 mm bar or uh, 30 mm bar for top and bottom both place but uh, if we provide the 30 mm bar okay third uh, sorry 13 mm bar then its nominal cover is 129 see so if we provide two bar if we provide two bar then it will be okay almost okay it will be almost okay for our bottom just see here it will be almost okay for our bottom and for top for fd here it will be okay except that two point here one point and here on point and here on point right so uh, for that beam then uh, i think so we can use here just 233 okay if we provide just see that if we provide here the bar i mean if we provide here the number of bar uh, i mean if we provide 13 mm bar then we will be able to cover with two bars in top except that point so here we have to provide extra top extra reinforcement here in top and here we have to provide extra reinforcement okay then our top will be covered and for bottom if we provide 13 mm bar or 12 mm bar then our that point that point that point that point that point that point and that point every point will be covered except that's that point so if we provide reinforcement in that bottom then it will be covered uh, i mean if we provide uh, extra reinforcement for our middle portion of our uh, beam then it will also cover okay so uh, let's uh, start and i think uh, for our i mean for good purpose of our work if i consider the beam from middle on then it will be very clear to you for detailing okay and you'll be able to detail any kinds of detailing so i'll just consider that one so first of all here just uh, see here now i'll go for some top for some topper bar number 5 16 mm bar if we provide 16 mm bar, it's 200 okay it's 200 now for 200 for that if we provide in top uh, two bar in top then that point that point then that point that point and also th that all point will be cover except that point and that point okay and for bottom that point that point that point that point that point all point will be i mean every point will be okay so i'm just requesting you and uh, i will use that point for a detailing and also i'll use 16 mm bar right so let's uh, start so here for top and for bottom i'll just take a clear cover okay by using easy way just simply take offset offset and take your clear cover what is the clear cover you know that zero point uh, sorry 1.5 1.5 or clear cover then enter so uh, for that take a point for that take a point and for that take a point that is our clear cover for our bar right this is 1.5 is then escape and from here we will start creating our detailing so simply take a line okay and from that point sorry and that side we have to also create a line offset enter 1.5 inch it's okay then it's done All right then escape and uh, we'll just draw our river so first of all in top we'll just give a river I'll just use ortho mode to make it very estate so from here uh, it's done we have just provided our top bar now we'll provide our bottom bar okay here I'll just provide our bottom bar so from that point to that point okay it's done we have provided our that bar okay now we can just delete that one and we can just delete that one also what we have taken as offset so it's done 
and uh, we can delete that in later okay when just when we'll give her the development bar okay i mean hook when we'll give her hook after that we'll delete that so it's okay now now just see now where uh, we have provided the reinforcement for our bottom and top okay 16 we have provided 16 mm two bar in bottom and 16 mm two bar in top when we'll create uh, i mean well we'll give level that will identify that now here just see here which point point is okay so that point is okay that point is okay and here uh, for bottom that point is okay but for top that point is not okay and here that point is not okay right for here that point is not okay and uh, here in that side except that point every point is okay but uh, also for safety we'll just uh, give a bar here okay now we'll provide our extra top and now for providing extra reinforcement i mean uh, for that beam or for uh, beam design they have a rule okay the point from in support okay the point from in support what will be the extension length of our that extra top okay what will be the extension point from that face that in face of our extra top so first of all you have to know that 